back and get to know you. Yes. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here We're we go. Live. Hello and welcome to the Magenta Show. Guess who I've got in the house? <laughs> Woo! Oh. Finally, I have got the most incredible woman, Tracy Schmidt here. And I mean, you are an award winning, you are um, the most decorative guest, honestly, the most superstar guest we've <laughs> ever had on the show. Oh, well, you're a superstar, and I'm just the first of many bigger to come. <laughs> I'm sure of it. <laughs> Wonderful. I'm so pleased you're here. So we, 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 um, we, on the Magenta Show, what we normally do is we ask the audience to tune in and Tell us which number bottle they are drawn to because it's a color show. It's going to be about colors, right? So you got to tell us whether you like number one, two, or three of the numbers that are here. For those of you tuning in for the first time, pop it into the comments box. At the end of the show, um, we're going to reveal to you what your color message is for the week. We did a sample round. It's very engaging (laughs) and it's super enlightening and really reflective on how accurate it was for the three of us. Yeah, it was. It was completely where we're at right now. Yeah. So um, Tracy, you, you've, you're very famous right now. I mean, we were just talking that one of your videos um, has been shared and and 30 million people have watched this video. 30 million in 2019. In 2019, and this is this it's is, like blowing this is a my huge, mind. Huge, huge, huge. I mean, this is all over the world, right? Yes. Okay. And sometimes we wonder, as entrepreneurs or people in life, you know, when we we want to be generous and we mm-hmm. want to be free, and we feel like, but this isn't paying my rent. Yeah. And and the trick is, is that was a free stage yeah. that somebody organically shared for me, Speaker Slam. You know, you yeah. wonder, is a Momonde or a Speaker Slam something that's going to make a difference for you? Even not as a speaker. Like if we have you, yeah. Magenta, on one of these stages and they film you, yeah. they share it. Yeah. And then look what happened. The world ate it up. So if you know you have a message that just needs yeah. to be seen, yeah. then then yeah. get your message out there. Don't worry about whether it's paid or not paid. Just do it. Just yeah. do yeah. it. Well, it is one of the principles I teach with the law of attraction is if you consistently turn up and do something, yes. somebody's going to notice and then you, it will happen. And that's yeah. what happened. And that's what happened with and you. I'm 30 million. 30, 30. Three zero million. Just think about that. Um, a video that went out. So you actually want to go to your website, which is Unstoppable Tracy. Unstoppable, so unstoppable. There's two P's <laughs> and Tracy. I like to say no hands, no legs, <laughs> and no E in Tracy. No extra letters, no extra body parts. T R A C Y. Michael, our producer, is going to put the address on for you. So if you go to that, you will find after the show. Please don't leave us now. You want to hang in and hear what we've got to say. But you Uh, want to go to the website and you can go and look right at the top of the website under videos. It's the one featuring right at the top. It's incredible. And you might need a little tissue because it was such a beautiful video. I watched uh, it and I absolutely loved it. uh, Loved it, loved it, loved it. And let's see who's joined us here. Um, Lorraine Gonzalez has joined us. Hello, Lorraine. Hey, Lorraine. Um, Shannon, number two. Okay, Shannon, speak number two. Okay, Shannon, please share everywhere today. All right, girl. Um, Aurelia, number three this week. Aurelia is one of our regulars. She's all the way from Denmark. Woo! I was just nearby. (laughs) You were? I was. I almost met you, Aurelia, but next time I'm through. (laughs) Fabulous. Joy Richards says she's choosing number three. Excellent. Um, Rihanna has joined us. Um, oh my goodness, look at all these wonderful people. Incredible. Wow, we just, Michael's just scrolling down on the screen. Number one, Anna. Anna says hello. Oh, that's wonderful. Welcome, Anna. Shannon. Oh, this is just incredible. Thank you so yes. much. And if you if, please immediately hit the share button and get us shared onto your timelines, groups, and pages on Facebook and let people know that we've got the incredible Tracy Schmidt here in the studio. Unstoppable. <laughs> the unstoppable. Not incredible. Because <laughs> we are all incredible. Incredible. And in fact, yeah. we are all unstoppable. Yeah, yeah. You are. Yeah, I, I was watching all the all the athletic um, feats that you've accomplished. All right. So I'm not athletic. I'm I'm a I'm a spiritual Olympian athlete. That's my That's my story. Right. So I'm, Superstar I'm in this, Olympian. I'm in the spiritual, spiritual athlete. <laughs> yeah. So physically, it's not something I really pay attention. You know, I'm, I just kind of plod along with life. I'm I'm so much more about the spiritual world. She does not plod along. <laughs> she is an intentional person and there's nothing plotting about you <laughs> you're so phenomenally you. intentional yeah, yeah. no it, yes, okay <laughs> <laughs> my, my students probably have something to say about that but you really genuinely are unstoppable so if i look at everything you've accomplished so you i mean you have sailed those tall ships 
and you you didn't sell in 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 in, in you you sell in able bodied yep competition huge yeah world cup regattas yeah you call those men vikings right viking like men <laughs> because you know denmark friend that's on the line yeah, and yeah. sweden and yeah. uh norway yeah. so the boat that i sailed was very much a whole bunch of yeah. you know culturally yeah. blonde large muscular yeah. men and a lot of these sailors you know their nickname is rail meat <laughs> rail meat because that's what they when they sail in a group boat that's their role <laughs> is just to hang out the edge of the boat oh, when the way. wind comes because the boat's faster yes. flatter that's right. and so when you see the boat healing the whole aim is to is to weigh it down yeah what's philosophy made yeah. good is it is it the angle or is it flat yeah. and you don't want to lose the wind so you pick your best and then you went to skiing you've done skiing as well skiing was well yeah sailing was first at yeah. at about 11 or so yeah. and through sailing i was introduced to skiing so they were parallel yeah. but i didn't do i didn't know about competitive sailing yeah. until my 40s wow and so uh, sailing was something i did know about in my teens and in my 20s and yeah. 30s yeah. uh and so got a bronze medal at a canada wow. level So I wasn't on a Canadian team okay. because I was bronze, but bronze was still pretty impressive. <laughs> and you know what's cool and it's not impressive because it's a bronze, it's impressive because yeah. in skiing, yeah. they for people with disabilities, they classify. Mm -hmm. So you get points. So if you're missing a leg, you're so many points. And if you're missing both legs, it's these many points. And if yeah. you have a visual impairment. It's another, and yeah. so they statistically compare it to able-bodied skiing yeah. and they multiply your final time by that factor, by that yeah. percentage. But in skiing there hasn't been enough people with yeah. no arms and no legs. No legs I don't do know it. if there's any. And so there's yeah. no factor. So statistically yeah. they can't give me a factor. So I was allowed to pick either the factor for missing hands or the factor for missing legs. Oh my goodness. And so I couldn't do a factor for yeah. both. And the people that are missing their legs they use outriggers with their arms. Yeah. And a sit ski which is super fast. but I couldn't use outriggers. Yeah. So I'm using the double leg above knee amputee factor, but I'm not able to do the outriggers. Wow. So my getting bronze was a factor that was even disproportionate to if I had my actual factor, I might have made the team. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. The factor was missing. It was yeah, the even the missing. factor was missing. <laughs> okay, but I love being a trendsetter. And and what other radical sports have you done? Oh, I've jumped out of airplanes. <laughs> I'm I'm an advanced scuba diver, dive 100 feet deep. But I got to tell you everything turns gray after 100 feet. So sometimes we think, you yeah. know, the more yeah. is better yeah. and it isn't necessarily that you is lose true. the color. Yeah. And that's what's yeah. so magical about your show is color. <laughs> yeah. So if if I said to you what's the next step? The next well the next adventure step yeah. is uh going to the North Pole, the authentic North Pole. Whoa. So there's not been a woman with a disability that's gone to the authentic North Pole. Oh my word. And it's so cool because And you're you're are you in training for that right now? In training yeah. and problem solving because I'm a downhill skier. I love to use gravity. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it helps me with the momentum. That's right. But to yeah. get to the North Pole, we're going to have to cross country ski. Yes. And so that's not something I've figured out yet. Yeah. So on top of getting there physically, I also need to figure out cross country skiing. Yeah. And and as as yeah. your wonderful son uh, saw who was more than willing to help me with stairs, which is great. I'm like, "No, no I got to figure out how to do it. Yeah. My world has reasons to not do something, like yes. a broken foot or not a life yeah. partner." And I'm like, "Oh, ah, Yeah. No excuses. I got to figure out how I can do it. And so I've got to figure out a way to not be tobogganed to the North Pole. Yes. I need to figure out how I will go to the North Pole. Yeah. And uh Whew. that came up because I was in Russia. Yeah. And I met a man who's been doing it for 30 years. And his first one there, he was the first person yeah. on the planet to go to the North Pole on skis, yeah. and he did it with a Canadian. Wow. And so he and this Canadian, so he he was interested in me yeah. being a Canadian. Yeah. And he brought me to Russia after seeing me there in 2017. And he he sponsored me all over Russia. Yeah. And I went to camps and schools and hospitals and I I did many large presentations yeah. to significant governing bodies to yeah. influence what, an aware what, society. I have I have I'm curious. 
when you go to a hospital, for example, and or at any place you've been to, and you meet somebody who's lost a limb, and um, and you walk in literally on 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 your legs, that look like stilts, that looks, no that covers. Stilts, that's right. Yeah, and you don't. I know, and I noticed that. Um, you you did a fabulous photo shoot, by the way, um, with Maggie Habida. Is we, it we Maggie love magical? Maggie. And oh. that red that she did you in. Oh my God, that was just awesome. And red is a really good color for you too. It's it I was never. Amazing. That was Maggie's dress. That yes. was her personal dress. You look good in. I I shouldn't confess. I should make like it's my dress, but no, it actually looked, was Maggie's. You looked stunning. It was beautiful. Oh. But um, when when you meet somebody who's just lost a limb and there you walk in and, and you're a four way uh, um, amputee, yeah. then how what changes for them when you when because you know somebody if I had to lose an arm, I'd think my world was ending, right? Yeah. How do you handle that moment with somebody, and and what happens to them when they see you? Do well, what's interesting is uh, I often feel that I can't begin to imagine that I know what it's like for that person, right? I never had a hand, so how can I imagine what that would be like for you yeah. who uses her hands with colors yes. or a foot or or I don't know what's going on in all of your lives. Yeah. I don't know what's going on behind your eyes. Yeah. I know a hugely successful show and yeah. business and quality life with yeah. a loving partner and a handsome yeah. son, but... <laughs> I don't know what else is going on yeah. in your world. And so this is when I come in, it's it's that space and every yes. audience, right? It's it's scary to sometimes say to people, yeah. no excuses. Because no I don't excuses. know if have they got <laughs> health going on, if they got someone they love that's yeah. disappeared, what's what's going on in their world. Yeah. But the thing is, is if we have a good reason yeah. to be limited, then everybody supports us in that. Like if we have a good reason to be on the couch yeah. because something horrific has happened, yeah. we can be on the couch. But then when we have an excuse, a good reason, we are limited. But if we live a life of no excuses, we live a life of no limits. And I realize yeah. that I have that accountability. That person that's just lost their foot or their leg, yeah. right? they have a very good reason. And every yeah. single human in their world, yeah. their mother, their loved one, their girlfriend, their neighbor, their doctor... Everybody's going to say, take some time. It's okay. Yeah. This has just happened. But the trick is, is if you wait two years for your mind to catch up with the loss of your limb, your whole body's going to atrophy. Yes. So you're going to have the best success if you get moving as soon as possible. Straight away. Yeah. Straight and away. you have muscles, yes. but they, every week you lose 10%. So in 10 weeks, if you sit still... Your, your whole journey to overcoming is just not only the obstacle of a massive transition to your mind and your body, but now, the now added, it's an additional yeah, one yeah. after 10 weeks. So yeah. I try to be strong and brave, and it's not in your face. It's just like, hello, I'm unstoppable, Tracy. And for a while, I didn't walk in because I felt like, who am I to, yeah. to feel like I could drive somebody yeah. because it's new for them and I don't know their world. Yeah. But what I learned is I don't even have to say anything. Just by walking in there and saying hello, wow. people also can't begin to imagine my world as a four-way amputee. Yeah. So I say nothing but hello, and it's nice to meet you, and I find whatever they want to share. Yeah. Sometimes women want to know, how do you put on your bra with no hands, right? And they might ask a personal question that they don't want to ask their male doctor, yeah. Yeah. right? Or, or sometimes men just want to know, you know about my dating life. Uh, and not because they want to date me, but I bet you that's secretly it. <laughs> but also because they want it, they feel like who's going to want yeah. me. And actually, men with disabilities do fabulous. It's yeah. a huge heartstring draw. <laughs> Us women, we just love that yeah. for whatever reason, yeah. appropriate or not. Yeah. So do you, do you go? I, I'm, I'm going to sidetrack you. And by the way, um, audience, if you have a question for for Tracy, please pop it into the comments box. Okay, Amazing. We, we'll, we will. We will. Uh, Michael said they do you Aww. have any questions as well. Thank so, you, Michael so, and so Paul. I, I'm, I'm definitely. That's my hubby, Paul. It is. <laughs> well, he's a handsome man. He is. <laughs> so um, let's talk about men then. All right, dating. Dating. Uh, okay, so. And you have such a busy schedule. Yes. Right. 
how on earth do you have time for romance or dating or and and I do not advocate this. Yeah. This is a big gap in my life. Yeah. And uh, not not before January 2017 when I got intentional about launching my superstardom yeah. of of bits and I didn't even launch superstardom. Like that wasn't the that wasn't the intention. That was an outcome. Yeah. Uh, that happened and is happening because of 30 million views yeah. in 2019. It's it just amazing. matters. Yeah. And the last 12 million were just in this month in May. So it's 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 like one just gets bigger and bigger. I can't yeah. imagine the year end. Yeah. But so up until then, I did our, I did just fine dating, and I've dated, and I've been engaged, and all sorts of bits and pieces. But I haven't figured out how to be in twenty countries in twenty eighteen and have a relationship. There, there's somebody that's kind of fun and. Uh, that's just sort of appearing now that also has the same lifestyle so hasn't been judgmental in any way which is great because yeah. they also have they understand yeah crazy like but I wouldn't call that a relationship for me I call that a, a friendship yeah. Yeah. that you see once a month okay <laughs> or not once a month once every yeah. three months once every three months and so you, and I haven't you ha figured it out and you wrote a book Unstoppable. I did Unstoppable, Unstoppable you. You. you I mean this is just an incredible book and um, Michael actually um, has... Do you have a link, Michael, that people can get the book? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. All right. This and is you're fantastic. welcome to go to the website too, yeah. Unstoppable Tracy. Yeah. There's a link yeah. there too. Yeah. I loved how you changed it from Unstoppable Tracy to Unstoppable You, really yeah. addressing, addressing your, um, your audience. And what, what do you say... What would you say in this book is, is your biggest message? What is the one number one thing that they really have to get this book? What are they going to get? That it's up to you. It's unstoppable you. It's unstoppable you. And I share my stories, but it's not a biography. Yeah. It's actually what I wrote the book, and it was called Unstoppable Tracy. And I'm like, it's not about me. The reason I'm sharing it is because I want you to feel unstoppable. And then I realized that I need to give you the tools to be unstoppable. So the end of every chapter is, okay, so here's... Here's a story of someone telling me, no, you can't go to kindergarten at five years old and being devastated, yeah. to now I learned forevermore, that just means K-N-O-W. <laughs> they just don't know. So a five-year-old that learns N-O, no, you can't have this chocolate bar, just yeah. means mommy doesn't know yes. that I deserve that chocolate bar. And so I <laughs> do whatever it, it takes. Yeah. And that, that yeah. art of, of counter-offering and speaking to mommy, I'll clean my yeah. room if you give me a chocolate yeah. bar. or I'll clean, And if that wasn't enough, yeah. I'll clean your room yes. if you give me a chocolate yes. bar, right? Like, yeah. what, is, what is it that the other person yeah. needs to turn the no into K-N-O-W? And we all need that in sales yeah. as an entrepreneur. Yes. Or, or, and and not the inappropriate Me Too movement, yeah. Yeah. right? There are times that no does mean no. But yes. in, in a conversation about... Yes. Saying yes, that's a different yeah. conversation. But, but also when you are striving for something and you get a bunch of no's, to not accept the no. To yeah. just go, they just don't know what I know or what I know I need. Yes, and I haven't yeah. been effective at speaking to their listening. Yes. Yes. I, I, what is their concern? And so I changed the book. Uh, yeah. November, I was in the print and I called up and I had the light bulb and I called my black card publishers and I said, I got to change the format of my book. And they're like, it's at the printing room. And I'm like, I need to add coaching questions. I need yes, to offer. Yes, I saw that in your book. Yeah, yeah, that's interesting. I love it. I love it. So I ask you yeah. what works yeah. for you. So you get inspired by a story. But often when you hear someone else's story, you hear yourself in the story. And you're like, oh, that's just like when I. And maybe it was something with a parent or maybe it was something with a teacher or maybe it was something with an old boss. Maybe it was something with your sibling or your children or your neighbor. And so how is it that you are in the story? And then I ask you some self-reflective questions. So after the story, you're not just feeling inspired. You're more than inspired. Yeah. And you're moved to actionable results. Yes. And so yeah. that's why it's up to you in that book is because you do the questions in your head, on pen and paper, however you like. Yeah. What I liked about it, it, you and I have a very something very similar happened to us. That what what gave us that trajectory to become um, our own um, uh, self-employed was to lose our jobs. Yeah. And and I I, I I remember when I lost my 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 I actually lost quite a few of them in South Africa. The economy was really bad, and by the <gasps> time I'd got to like four jobs in seven years. I, I literally I literally spoke to God and I said, okay, look, you know, um, I can't keep looking at jobs because I keep losing them. So God, obviously, you want me to do something else. Yes. But I didn't know what that something else was. No. 
And, and from that moment, I made a vow to say yes to whatever's presented to me. And I've been following that recipe since that time. And which is how yeah. we started this conversation. Yeah. She's like, what do you hope out of today? Yeah. And it's the, what presents to you. Yes. Right? We presented to each other yes. today. Yes, we did. And both of us had very different agendas for yes. this Monday. We definitely did. <laughs> you and were so, a real surprise this morning. And for me wonderful too. wonderful surprise. And I was just, I'm like... Yeah. What am I meant to do? I, I feel like I've been unstoppable and there's always a solution. And yes. I have been really unstoppable about this Monday. Yes. And a dozen different plans had had yeah. broke down. Yeah. No, no matter how unstoppable I had been. And because I was feeling a little defeated. Yes. Yeah. And as you said, yeah. God, right? Yeah. And God says, yes, it presents. Yes. And I love that you. I didn't have that insight. You're like, okay, clearly I'm not on the path you want me on because I'm getting all these no's yeah. and roadblocks. Yes. So you were smart enough yeah. to see that that meant yeah. there's a different journey. Yeah. And and I struggled longer before I saw that yeah. flash of brilliance. Yeah. But we do. So I think it's a good message for our audience out there that if you have lost your job or you've lost income or your business isn't working for you, it, you really have to adopt some of this unstoppable energy. And listen. What's, t- <laughs> listen, what's it telling it's you? It's right in front of you. And yeah. you just Because something that I, 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 I teach my students in my mentoring um, group is that you, when you ask for help, when you say to the universe, how can I solve this problem? Or how can I turn this around? Or what am I meant to be doing? Yeah. You, all you have to do is listen from that point on. Yes. If you try and control, the control does come in for us. We try and control and make things happen. Oh, I'm so Just guilty of back. that. You got to take a deep breath and step back because it will present itself to you. Yes. That's how it works. Hugely, yeah. hugely. Yeah. I, w- I was on an airplane. And so at the end of that job, and, and I believe what you focus on grows. Yeah. And I was devastated. It was incredible 15 years. Yeah. We'd outperformed stock markets and supported mergers. And it was the end of a contract. And I knew in my heart of hearts there'd be another. But I was afraid to drive home because in this moment I was sad. Yes. And I had every right to be sad, but I wanted to drive home safe. Yeah. And I was concerned with this level of sadness, what I focused on grows, that I would make a bad driving decision or a light pole would fall down. Yeah. So I was trying to focus on something positive wow. that would get me ready to drive home. And yeah. then I'm like, oh, I love sailing, but it's October and there's no sailing. Yeah. So I Googled and I found a sailing regatta. Yeah. And to me, that was just sort of a recreational opportunity in San Diego. Yeah. So 5.30 that night, I jumped on a plane to go to San Diego <laughs> and and it was incredible and it just came to me like yeah. you said you asked the question yeah. and I went there and that's when I discovered that there's Paralympic sailing I had no idea yeah. until then but even on the flight home Hurricane Sandy had hit yeah. and it was terrible turbulence mm-hmm. and and we all thought we were going to die it was yeah. a terrible terrible turbulent flight and so I said and it seems like it's a permission for space in this but whatever you believe in but for me I said God if I live I'm going to pursue uh, looking for a job and getting that corporate drive. And the plane went nutters. <laughs> it actually really went horrible. And this tall, able-bodied man who was sitting in his seat, and we all had our seatbelts on, yeah. and he got thrown out of his seat. So he obviously hadn't clicked the clasp yeah. on the seatbelt. And he got thrown out of his seat. Wow. And I thought, this is it. And I said, forget that. If I live, I'm going to pursue my Paralympic dream. <laughs> And the plane went dead oh still. Oh, my God. <laughs> and I feel like I had been hit and hit and hit over the head over and over. This yeah. is not your path. This is not your path. Not. And so I just tried harder and harder at the corporate world, corporate world, corporate yeah. world, right? And I have to be a director or a VP, right? And I got my MBA and I, you know, I was so driven. And I just hit and hit and hit. And I was like, what's going on? <laughs> and so and then here I am dying and I promised I'm going to stop spontaneous flights yes. and then there's a hurricane and, and then when I made that as the wish I thought I'm really gonna die but as soon as I focused on listening yes the plane went straight and honestly things really fell into place yeah. with pursuing my sailing journey yeah. and I didn't make it to Rio 2016 I made it to World Cup or Goddess with yes. able-bodied men but I ended up being a support for a phenomenal man named Magnus and the two of us together, we supported every single boat, yeah. able-bodied, meaning arms and legs, and for people with disabilities, yes. in t- London 2012 and Rio 2016. Yeah. 
we touched that, every boat that, some that's, way. That's where the coach in you comes out, and mm. that that is the next phase of your life, isn't it? Yeah. It's about now passing down the strength and and helping other because there are so many people out there. And I know, I know some of you are watching who are coaches, who are mentors, and. And you, it, honestly, if you had some of this unstoppable energy, <laughs> it would serve in a much, much bigger way. So it, it, it starts with getting these coaches and mentors to become unstoppable. To, for and us to see down. what's yeah. that telling you. We can't, it's funny, people look to coaches yeah. for answers. And if you have an, a coach yeah. that's giving you answers, yeah. they're not a great coach. Yeah. Coaches ask you, what are you seeing? What are the roadblocks? What, what's happened? What are the circumstances? You know, and they're not asking you why, and they're not asking you yes, no questions. They're yeah. the kind of people that ask you to say, hmm, I hadn't thought of that. Yes. Give me a sec. Yes. And it's okay that you don't know those answers, but it shows this is what you don't know, yes. K-N-O-W. That's right. And yeah. so you ask yourself, well, what don't I know? How come I'm not yeah. successful? This yeah. is what you don't no, K-N-O-W. <laughs> and so what questions are you asking? So books like mine and shows like this one help you start to reflect and realize this is what I want to learn more about myself yeah. to figure out. And then, then take the answers that come, not the ones. The ones, yeah. yeah. I have a friend. We, we, from, actually, have, we oh. actually have a question for you. Sorry to Shannon. You Shannon says teenagers have so much. She has a teenage daughter. <laughs> teenagers have so much pressure to be beautiful, smart, successful, and popular. What encouragement can you give today's youth? Oh, it's so true. And I, mm. I go to, I don't book them in advance, like for next September, but I will visit schools. So if I have a pocket, like this week, if you know a school, anybody listening in Toronto or, or Ontario, reasonable driving, I will drive to the high school and do a spontaneous yeah. assembly because I have time this week but th and support those yeah. schools. And the big piece with teens is they are really good at excuses and they're super concerned about looking good. Yeah, they when are, they when yeah, they come yeah. in and they get to see unstoppable Tracy yeah. and I speak to their listening because there's been like I've been on stages with Ant-Man movie star Michael <laughs> Douglas right we know Michael Douglas for a lot more but they know them <laughs> as Ant-Man movie star or they're excited yeah. because I, I know Mark I don't know him personally but I've shared stages with and been hugged by Mark Wahlberg yeah. who we know many movies, but they know Transformers or yes. Daddy's Home or Ted, Teddy, yeah. right? So they know Mark Wahlberg. And, and John Travolta. John Travolta. Hashtag John Travolta. So they don't know John Travolta, believe it or not. I do. But we adults do. Oh, yeah, But do. they know the movie Bolt. Yes. The cartoon Bolt. And John Travolta was the voice in Bolt. Yes. So I speak to their listening in a way that appeals to their social media craziness. Yeah. And then they're getting their respect because I've got there. And then I say... No, I grew up in affordable housing. Yes. And wow. no arms, no legs. Yeah. And now I'm on stages with these stars. It's stars, yes. And in 20 countries in 2018 yes. and on the news in Russia. And I don't even know what it said. <laughs> <laughs> right? And so it's, it's, it's unsadly, I appeal to their concern yeah. for looking good. Yes. But then I tap into my very reasonable reasons yeah. of no arms, no legs, yes. or affordable housing. And they are just like those people in the hospital room with no hand. Both audiences are left with, when they hear a story, yes. they realize, I don't say it. Yeah. They come to the conclusion, I have no excuses. I have no excuses. The I only thing that. stopping me yeah. is me. Yes. And so it's not, it's not me telling them that. And this is what we like to do as parents and coaches is tell people. And, and it doesn't work. We can't learn for somebody else. We can't learn for our teenagers. But we can influence how fast they learn. We can influence motivation. We can influence uh, quality of content going in. But you, you cannot force somebody to learn. People aren't able to learn yeah. for others, sadly. And I, I see I've hit a chord. You've hit a chord. I, I've, te <laughs> I've teared up here, Aww. okay? Um, and um, uh, Melissa Jolly is watching, by the way. I speak to the listening perfect. Yes. She's the lady who makes these color bottles. My, They're gorgeous, I've been <clears throat> studying with her since 2004. And 
and uh, you, you've hit a chord because this is something that Melissa has ingrained into me as well. It's you are the only one stopping yourself and, and you have to self-examine. You have to self-explore yeah. what it is that stops you and, and just move beyond it yeah. because you can achieve anything you want and you are living proof of that. Oh. And what I'll tell you a little bit about the bottles, um, Tracy. Yeah. The, what that Melissa's made is when this is the kind of coaching we teach with the system, and we've been teaching it all over the world. Is we we ask the consultants who work with the system to ask the, the the client a question. So what 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 is in your way? What's happening? And then we don't give them the answers. We ask them to pick a color. Oh. And then the color, the language of color, talks to them and gives them the information. And it's up to them to then engage with it action it because that's always a missing key yeah people, pe a lot of people go to a lot of seminars read a lot of books they get a lot of information but they don't action anything yes so um it's so important and this is why i work with a color because they simply bathe in the bottles and it gives them that impetus that energy and that that frequency to give them that buzz to get them going to take action well and the action yeah. even in, in in physically pouring in the bath and getting in the bathtub yes. is not just a universe find me love or universe make me successful yes. it's you physically have to pour it in the bath and get in the bath yes. and then the energy gives you the momentum to take further bigger that's, actions it's, that's exactly but i love that the first yeah. step is already in action and yeah. i love melissa am i saying her name yes, right that's right melissa says i speak to their listening she loves that <laughs> sentence but what's magical about that melissa is that that you ask the question mm. And so you don't pick the bottle yes, as the coach. We never prescribe. Never. You say which yeah. bottle speaks to your listening. Like yes. it's a very parallel uh, yes. life journey that Melissa coaches yeah. and, and what I, what I yeah. encourage you to do. Yeah. And it's true. Like when, when we first started, I'm a little concerned about joining spiritual shows and universe show. And you can tell that I'm very spiritual yeah. and that I have lots of universe yes. calling and I'm all about the law of attraction. Yes. But I think people misjudge that. You know, first you got to conceive it. Like so, if you think small, you get small. So if you think big, you it then you've got yes. big dreams, yes. and then you believe I'm actually capable of that, yes. right? I can think about oh, I can be on a stage where there's a hundred people, or I can think of I'm going to be on a stage with ten thousand people, yes. and then and then you think I'm going to be paid a thousand dollars, or I'm going to be paid ten thousand dollars. So you can think bigger, but the conceiving and the believing isn't doesn't have the achieve the achieve doesn't just magically yes. magic wand it yeah right you you conceive it yeah. and you think big and then you believe, believe it, it that even though you don't know how yes. you can do it you can do it yeah but the achieving it is yeah. actually a very action oriented yes. step you yes. have to pour that say, water yes, you in have, your bath exactly you got to do something and then you have to take that yeah. bath and yeah. then you got to get out of that bath with the energy and the insight that comes to yeah. you and Take action. Yeah. Make the phone call. If you said in the bath, I'm going to make a hundred calls today, then get out of the bath and make a hundred <laughs> calls. And notice how big I'm thinking. I'm not saying three calls. I'm saying a yeah. hundred yeah. calls. Yeah. So let's demonstrate it to them. All right. So okay. what? So what we do with our guests at this point of the show is, I say I would like to offer you a color reading. So I would like to say ask you, is there something that you'd like guidance on? Something you'd like a little insight into? Me. Yeah. And then we pick a bottle and we have a conversation. <laughs> Aww. So I have things that I'd like guidance on. And I know our viewers have things that they love to hear from me or about yes. me. Yes. So I'm, if it does the process work that our viewers are welcome to say, I think our viewers are interested in on how do, how do I become unstoppable and how do I grow my business as okay. an entrepreneur. Yeah. But, you know, I'm seeking guidance on love. Yeah. Like how do I yeah. create something in this life that I have now? Yeah. And so, so I don't know whether to do the... The personal love question or the business question for the <laughs> listeners? You can do both. <laughs> Look at that. You can, we've had this We had this recently with another a guest. They couldn't, they couldn't choose. Did they want something for the business or for the romantic side? Of oh, the so this happened one. before? Yes, it's happened before. So oh. they pick one for each. So oh. you are so welcome to have a look at the bottles behind you, Tracy. The and big ones, not yeah, the slimmer it, ones. It can be anything. Oh, it can be what any, color draws It me. can be anything that, you, that you're drawn to. And okay. we're going to put them on the light box and then we'll have a little conversation. How's that? This beautiful light box. Yes. Hopefully yeah. making us look younger from light below is so it fun. Does. It does. It does. I have to say that it, it, it kind of, youth. it takes about 10 years off. So if anybody feels like they want an anti-aging process, join us on the show. <laughs> nice. Look at that. For so okay. many reasons. When you let go of obstacles on her show, yeah. you also get younger too. 
Yeah. <laughs> That's Mark, another 10 years. Yeah. 20 years younger. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Michael, if you've got the, the cover of the book to While Tracy's Picking Bottles, just to show people they can get her book, because I know you... With you, self-coaching, you, it's self free download. And everything. Please show it on the screen, and then we'll have a little look. Let's see what bottles we got. And for those of you who are going to be listening right now on the podcast, Tracy's just turning around, and she's going to have a look at the wall of bottles behind us, and she's going to pick one that she's drawn to. To both questions? Or two, yes. No, I, I want you. I want you. To, no, I want to. I want okay, you to pick so one. One for for the business related to your business, and one related to um, romance or private private life. This that Probably. top shelf there. Yeah. Is my. Is that the one? My you? romance one. Which one? Which one? I wanted to pick one I could reach, that but that's the one I kept looking is down. Is this one here? Or I think it's this one on the right. That one. Yeah. <gasps> Wow, that's so the romance tw- one. 21, darlings. Okay, cool. 21 for romance. Okay. okay, and now for viewers and business. So this, my question was, uh, was how, how can I support the entrepreneurs yes. in, the, yes. in the listening yes. today who's yes. here with us yes. now live? Yeah, so this, this is a bottle for all of you entrepreneurs For the out listeners. There. There Thank you. you. And what do I have to say about what? I see it. See I, w- it. I could conveniently pick. Yeah, you hold that so I can Got resist it. a little there bit. There we go. Is it okay that I pick yeah. it up? Yeah, go for it. Oh Ooh. my God. <laughs> That's what I'm For feeling. those who know color mirrors, you know this bottle very, very well. Isn't okay. that funny that that, uh, I couldn't, I'm like, oh, I want to pick something convenient, but that wasn't the one that was calling for business. No, no. <laughs> So this is a bottle that gets picked the most by guests that are genuinely successful in their fields. Wow! On the show. And no! I, it's been nicknamed the millionaire's bottle. Oh, <laughs> I love that! But it's so clever, this, because it's it's exactly what you've just been saying, that if you don't take action with your body yeah. and make, and, you know, once you've conceived and achieved it and then take action, you the million never gets to you. No. Or, and, and it's nicknamed the millionaire's bottle, but it can be any achievement that you want to to reach any success you want to get to yes so it's solid gold on top which says and it's authentic power you must do it authentically and consciously authentically so be do it in a conscious way the magenta at the bottom is all about being guided by 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 divine energy by god's energy by whoever you believe in what whatever your belief system is it's it's that faith part of you and together this is g15 and it's called satori and satori is a zen buddhist name for bliss and enlightenment in other words having it all being spiritual being authentic being wealthy materially spiritually and 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 the whole um this is about the millionaire's bottle and it's wealth it's all about creating wealth and it's spiritual wealth material wealth wealth. exactly yeah yeah good doing what you love and are passionate about yes and making it happen Yes, very, very important. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Isn't that funny? So, Look so at that. I really, if, if you've only tuned in in the, la- in the later half of the show, please go right back to the beginning and watch the replay because you want to actually hear why this bottle is so important for you as a viewer today if you are trying to achieve some freedom and some wealth for yourself. Um, it's it's Satori. It's just the most perfect bottle. Wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> she would pick the biggest one, right? I'm <laughs> like, holy cow, I, I, I don't want to go that far off the screen, but it's like I, it's calling me. It's pulling me. I had to, yeah, do, had it. to do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's very powerful. Oh. And and 15, in um, I also work with the, the meanings of numbers, numerology systems, and 15 is the number of a magician. Oh. Somebody that, that has that magical touch. So you, the, if you are a 15 energy and you, ha- and you relate to this part in this message, you've got no excuse. There should be nothing stopping you because you can make magic happen in your life. Yes, you can. Yeah. It's a bit of tough love, no excuses. Yes. But the bonus is no excuses, no limits. No limits. Yes. I love it. So, my darlings, you also um, saw that Tracy picked number 21, and that is for something more personal, more romantic. Mm. And all right, so something a little bit more um, just for you personally. And it's 21 is a key. And it's, it's gold on top and yellow at the bottom. And what this, in psychology of color, what this means, again, you've got a gold sitting here. That's a solid gold. And then you've got the more orangey um, um, gold sitting here. And gold, again, is about power. And yellow is um, is about your personal power. So there is this combination of of the, the, the personal you with something that is a little bit more the wise you power. So, the, mm. so, so wisdom, authentic wisdom power and personal power coming together. Now, um, 
it, my generation remembers this, but um, I remember uh, as I was growing up watching the big cakes with a 21 key given to it. So when you turned 21, you were given the key to a door. So it was a big party oh, in, 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 South South, in South Africa in our culture. So 21, when you became legal, you could sign documents, you could get married without your parents' permission. Oh. So this is not quite a long time ago, but that, that was a tradition. So 21 to me has always symbolized a key. Oh. So what I want to say to you in your personal life here is that um, you, you're you going to be given a key that is going to turn the door to a life where you're going to be cherished and loved and nurtured and and made to feel so special. Somebody's oh. just going to absolutely love you. And All is right? it a defined as a set? Like I certainly, one of the things I've come to over the past two yeah. years is what you just described yeah. Is if you let go by definition, yes. a specific, yes. and say, is that, well, I am cherished, yes. I am abundantly loved by all yes. of you, yes. and I definitely feel valued yes. and warmth. It's just not a personal singular yes, life is, partner, is, but there's is, definitely a group some, of people. Oh, this is, but this is this is this is individual. This is somebody that will just hold you. But it is somebody. But I do have yes. But what I am seeing is a key in a door. Yes, I'm actually physically seeing a key in a door, uh-huh. and I I have this feeling. It's like you're going to put a key in a door, and it might drop, and somebody will pick it up, and <gasps> it will be a match. Wow! It's going to be over a key that you're going to meet. So you know what's really funny is that my r- renter has sold the home uh-huh. and so I need to move November 1st <laughs> you and need new keys too. I need new keys <laughs> so <Excellent>. it's hilarious <laughs> and you know what else happened is my um I took my winter tires in yeah to be changed mm-hmm. through an incredible friend Sarai and uh, the key broke off in the ignition of the car wow <laughs> uh, so so Maybe I was supposed to be there instead of sending Sarai, and I got to go find that igni- uh, electrician who broke my key in my car. <laughs> okay. Yeah, who knows? But, th- but there's, there's some funny key things there's coming something. up right now. Yeah, definitely, there's something around a key and a key moment. Aww. So, and and but I, literally, I'm seeing a key in a door as well. I get these little images that come from your future self that gets given to us as a gift to give you this little window into what's. Possibly can happen. The possibly can happen. Possibly can happen. Who knows? <laughs> On Friday, I meet uh, Obama. Oh, so wow. so who? Maybe that's a key moment. <laughs> who <That's>, knows? <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna go with you. Okay? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, you'll sit come yes. with me in Ottawa. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, and yeah. I need to caveat. I'm and and so see what I did there. I yeah. said I'm going to meet Obama. Yes. At the moment, I'm going to be. In the vicinity of Obama, yes. right? He's in Ottawa. He's at uh, the Senator's Stadium. Yeah. A phenomenal friend yes. who is the COO of the Senators, of the Ottawa Senators, and is, has yeah. secured a seat at the venue where Obama's yeah. going to be. But yeah. hear my language. It is I stating it. a fact that it's you believe it. Yeah. Yeah. And I, and so I almost you, water it, it down an by sharing the believe, process, uh, but I wanted to share yeah. the process with you yeah, so that you fantastic. can implement it too. Yeah. So yeah. when you see a photo of me and Obama, you'll be like, wow. She did it. It works. And, and you're unstoppable. So of course and I'm unstoppable. And if I, like I didn't get to Rio 2016, but my journey yeah. had me impacting in a much, much bigger, bigger way, way than yeah. one singular yeah. individual. It's yeah. forevermore everyone. But that's because you didn't try and control it. You, no. you went with what was presented. Yes. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Fabulous. Okay, so audience, it's your turn, my darlings. Um, I want to make sure that you have already put into the comments box if you were drawn to number one, two, or number three, because you're also going to get a little personal color message for the upcoming week. So Robert, Anna, Anne, all the new joiners. (laughs) Excellent. I do hope that you all put numbers in, okay? Pop them in there quickly before I Anastasia, throw in a number between one and three real quick. (laughs) Excellent. So those of you who have have chosen number one you actually have our fabulous unstoppable tracy um pick for the week and patricia I mean, throw in a number real quick <laughs> <laughs> and it was number one and look at it how it ties in with a with that bottle that you picked there oh. as well with the colors there all right so those of you picked number one you've picked a color orange and it's fire and i wanted to bring melissa's words out to read to you exactly what that bottle means and i mean just just i mean this is so bizarre Good okay <laughs> Melissa's pick number one as well. Okay, Melissa, um, passion for life reawakened. The essence is about initiation and will connect you to the mindset 
<laughs> that you need a fire walk or any, any fire walk or anything that you need to do that you need that courage to do it all right and seriously to put mind over matter which is really yeah. your energy this is what you do so yeah. it, the fact that you picked fire was just phenomenal yeah. so for the audience who've picked number one this is it so this is a week where you you seriously need to be unstoppable yeah you you go back and watch this episode from the beginning again and just listen to every and hang on every word because every word that came out of your mouth is like golden nuggets wow. literally so please because that will give you the impetus to say yes and to not take no's as an answer this week so yes take it as a no k-n-n-o yes k-n-o-w k-n-o-w <laughs> okay yeah Have not k-n-o-o-o-o <laughs> <laughs> it's a yes 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 <laughs> yes and we did it today, like yeah. the, the venue yeah. where we're at for the studio, there were stairs. Yes. And it's like, okay, my elbow's done a lot with stairs lately. Is yeah. there any way we can get around this? And there's like, oh, the studio's downstairs. And I'm like, can we bring the camera upstairs? And then, the, and then all of a sudden, what manifested was yeah. by asking the question, which we didn't know, K-N-O-W, was let's walk around. Yes. And that walk around had this beautiful... Uh, nature. nature walk okay. and I was just thinking what a great day it is and here I am going to be busy doing business business and I'd love some nature and, and I got, got not only no stairs but I also got a little nature walk <laughs> with a handsome fella <laughs> <laughs> all right those of you pick number two you have got Michael's pick of the week the producer and it is the ruby red color and you said you like rubies as well oh I love this ruby just, red all my life and it just the past <gasps> Isn't that there gorgeous? is. It's gorgeous glitter in there. Is that gold? It looks like what's that booze with gold flecks in? <laughs> I don't know. Gold schlager. Yes, gold schlager. <laughs> gold schlager. Mark. Yes, in my teenage it. years, I had some gold schlager, <laughs> and uh, but now it's ruby red gold schlager. Yeah. So, Michael, your ruby red, my darling, and for those of you who picked number two, uh, the same as my my beautiful son, who's my producer as well. Dual like and rich, this essence offers us the feeling of being deeply settled in our bodies. Oh. It is both calming and restorative, centering us and bringing feelings of peace and stability. At the same time, it is a powerful agent for change and mm. helps us to embrace change in our lives with ease and grace wow so michael you and everybody who's picked number two there's a powerful opportunity for change coming into your life in the next seven days and i want you to again apply the teachings that our beautiful guest unstoppable tracy has given us here say yes and turn up please don't say no and don't take no for an answer because and, and and even to the voices inside your head that gives you those million excuses to not do something just ignore it and do it anyway take yes action All no right. matter who in your life is saying no yeah. even if it's people you love and trust yeah. spouses children yes. parents yeah. so you know they are all very cautious for yes. you oh yeah. you broke your foot you really need to stay home yes right yeah. for and that doesn't mean anything by anybody that's happened to yeah. break their foot right now yeah. it's just a coincidental example i yes. share all the time yeah but uh it, no, what's funny it. Yeah. with the ruby red and what you're talking about is like i was really drawn to ruby red for many many years yeah. and when especially uh, and it all started when i went to nepal yeah. and it was a time of peace and centering and a real Buddhist phase in my wow. life, which, yeah. and I always believed in God, but I loved learning more about yeah. what were some of the parallels in Buddhism and in, in Christianity. Yes. And uh, it was those that I really find anchor and strengthen. Yeah. And it was a time of great yeah. peace, but massive change. Yes. But it, wow. it hasn't been a color that I've been drawn to for the last two years. It's been real go, 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 go. go, go. go. Yeah. So which is so that fire energy yeah. to keep you that energy and so, courage so to keep funny. moving. Wow. wow, this is so amazing. Yeah. All right, so for those of you who have picked number three, hold three. your breath. And a lot of threes it. today. <laughs> and I'm so glad Shannon loved it. It's the magenta energy. It's the one that I gave Ooh. a little spray of. It also has a nice little twirly, um, smoky little look to it. Oh, it does and, have a smoke. Yeah. and, Ooh, and sultry. And Metatron is actually the name of an archangel. And Oh, and, and and the story around this archangelic being is that it knew what it's like to be angelic and it knew what it was like to be a human because it apparently had human life. <gasps> so it acts as this bridge. So when we are praying to the angels, we're praying to heavens to help us. Apparently he's an intermediary. He can he can make that communication easier so that we can have the help of, of, of the spirit world, of the, yeah. the heavens to support us to manifest what we want. So I want you to think about it for this 
this week for those of you who picked number three is is try to not think you need to do it all yourself there is this law of attraction there is this god energy there's these angelic beings there are there's all these energies that are around us that you might not you you might think you you, you might be have an awareness of them but if you don't just call on them to support you so if, so especially if you don't have your lifeline you know you yeah. talk about a lifeline a yeah. human being that can actually be with you um, and if you feel you haven't got a lifeline to hang on to this coming week there's going to be a lifeline coming to you from the heavens so it's a bit of a spiritual message for those of you who've picked number three i hope you enjoy that message when you got to create your lifelines you've got to create your lifeline like i think uh, magnus mm -hmm. was this gold olympian and it was super clear to me when i phone a gazillion people so how do i pursue paralympics at this and they're all oh you need ten thousand dollars you need ten thousand boats you need ten thousand yeah. hours of training and just no way there's the only way would be this magnus lidgedal the only gold olympian in north america yeah. and so he was presenting as a lifeline and i called somebody else and the same yeah. thing came up and i did some googling and the same thing came up and i thought i gotta get to magnus yes. and he didn't i phoned him i facebooked him i twittered him i linked in him i emailed him and he didn't reply to any of it yeah but I knew that he was the one. And I drove down to him and he didn't give me the time of day. And I spent three months yeah. washing his boats, running errands, being his lifeline. And I'm not saying you have to do unto others before being done unto. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have to, you don't have to persuade others, like give them something in order to get something in return. But you know, Magnus as a gold Olympian, he's somebody that a lot of people want stuff from. Mm -hmm. And when you're seeking support from somebody that's been successful yes. already, they've already also got, like you've got a gazillion people that yeah. you are mentoring yes. existingly yeah. in your training, in yeah. your life. And so just to take a random stranger to say, hey, will you teach me about uh, doing a show? Yeah. You'd love to, but you've yeah. also got a hundred things on your things, agenda. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not about convincing you or warranting your time, but I had to do, I had to wash Magnus's boats. Yeah. For example, for three months, kind of like the Karate Kid movie, right? Wax <laughs> on, wax, wax off. Wax I had to on, do that. <laughs> and same with Karate yeah, Kid, yeah. right? He 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 had the attention yes. of the mentor of the yeah. lifeline, mm -hmm. but he needed to prove that he was willing to do whatever it took. Yeah. And I love that it's showing that I joined. So that means someone <laughs> on my team is uh, representing me, which is so great. Thank you, Star, Superstar. Please share, share, share this episode because it, it has been a phenomenal experience talking to the unstoppable Tracy here on the Magenta Show. I want to thank you so much for coming in. You are... You, you're an inspiration. She touched my heart. I've had oh. tears in my eyes. I've not had a. I've not had a guest that's made me cry. So oh, I think you love you have tears. that badge of honor. <laughs> yes, um, you really touched my heart here today, and and touched my soul. Mm. You, you, you do that, and um, and I'm, I, I just, I'm so glad that you're out in the world that people Aww. can have a bit of this energy as well. You truly are special. Yeah. You're unstoppable without a doubt. Thank you so much, and Aww. and and blessings. And when you when you when you when you hug Obama, yeah, okay, just 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 whisper. There might be security <laughs> around body body parts that are metal and hugging, but <laughs> but but I definitely want to get a, a picture to to prove that it works. That it, it works. is so great. Yeah. Well, I tell you, when we see that picture, we, we, we're going to add to making it go viral. How's that? Yes. We're going to ask all our Magenta Show audience to, to share, share, share a picture. Okay. Yes. Let's make it happen together. Aww. So if you if you share this as well, please remember to put in hashtag Unstoppable Tracy as well. And we, hashtag Magenta Show. And hashtag Magenta Show. That would be fantastic. Thank you so much. I, 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 I don't have enough words to say thank you to you. You've been phenomenal. It's been mm -hmm. magical for me too. And I love, I love that you're about action. Yes. It's about believing and conceiving yes. and it's unstoppable love and unstoppable <laughs> business yes. and unstoppable yes. lifelines. Yes, it is. And unstoppable about creating your lifelines. Yes. We have a part in that. It doesn't just fall in our lap. That's it. Yeah. So my darlings, Tracy, thank you. Michael, thank you for producing Shannon. Thank you for being at the other end, helping us. My angels and the audience, thank you so much. We love you. We'll see you next week on Monday. Cheers. <laughs>